One of the best ways to take advantage of formatting in a Google document is to use invisible tables. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and insert a quick table here, and I'm going to make it two by two. All right. So I can change this table to be the size that I'd like it to be. So just pull this down to a point where I'm happy with it. And all right, so my vision is this. I want a cool looking report type template. So you got to feng shui with it a little bit to get it to fit just right. There we go. All right, so once you have it in a way that you're happy with it, then you can use the magic of invisible tables to really improve the formatting and the look of the document. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight these two sections here. I'm going to go up to this right here where there's this border. I'm just going to paint the borders white all the way around. So I have no idea there's a table there, but you can take advantage of some of the things the table has to offer. Like now, I can fill those in. If you wanted these to not be white, you would simply make the table border orange, like so. And then you could begin to format as you please. Very important when you are using tables and trying to indent things, use the indent tools here. You can also use invisible tables to make columns. So it would work in very much the same way. You would insert a table, two by one. You make it the size of your page. And you're good to go. You can just type whatever you please here. Then when you end, you just start over here. And then when you're good with your formatting, you just remove, and there you go. So those are some ways you can use invisible tables in a Google Doc.